Scott McGinnis from Arm Sport Videos. Rick Pinkney from Nova Scotia Arm Wrestling, Canadian Arm Wrestling. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I want, before we even start, I want to give a big shout out to Ian the Grippler Carnegie. Um, he contacted me, called me, and asked me about if we were going to do any more in focus shows. And at the time, I told him no. And this is not an in focus show, but Rick and I are just going to get together and debate a couple of topics, maybe. And uh, what's on schedule for today, Rick? Today will be uh, Top 8 versus WAL. Oh. Competitors from each. Hands down, no question. WAL, WAL is where it's at. Top 8, buddy, all the way. Top 8? What do you know about Top 8? They're the best pullers in the world. Oh my God, and best inspector. pullers in the world. Michael, Todd, Devin, Larry, Jerry, Cataract, Todd, <laughs> Hutchins, what else do I got to say? Levin, Vitaly, Trubin, Dave Chafee now. Okay, I'll give you Dave Chafee. Nobody's touching Levin. Nobody in the world can touch Levin right now. After everything we saw in Dubai with Devin and Michael Todd working out together, you, don't, you think... Michael has no chance against Devin. Not a chance. Zero. A, zero chance. He Devin. has. He won't even. He won't even be able. Even if they allowed the Kings move, he wouldn't get into it. Hold it. The single best defensive puller on the table today, Michael Todd. You. He has no chance. No chance. You're in dream world. Levin will go through him like nothing. He will grab in his, that big hand of his and just crush him. Easy now. Yes. Right, I'm getting excited and knocking the mic around, <laughs> but he will just crush him. And Vitaly, second best arm wrestler in the world. Michael might be, I don't know, depending on what rules, if you want to use WAL no rules, then you might, you know, he might finish third or fourth. WAL no rules. Little Bart Woods just putting in time at the table. I feel bad for Bart. He's probably a good referee, but when you're not allowed to call anything, it's brutal. It's terrible to watch. All that has to happen once, Michael Todd stops, him, stops one of those guys, and the match is over. But he won't stop him. He will stop. There's going to go to slip out, go to straps. He just has to have one stop. No. I'll tell you right now, Levin's going to grab on and just cr crush right through him. You don't think Michael's going to get out? No, he's not getting out. He's got too big and strong hand. Levin's just going to crush him. Oh, my God. we got to have this it's match. Gonna, it, we got to have this match. It's going to be like the way uh, uh, Devin and, and uh, uh, Saplankov. Saplankov just grabbed onto him, crushed him. Like he wasn't even going to keep hitting your mic. Sort of Jeez. Thing. Went through him like he wasn't even there. With the long hair and everything, Devin didn't have a chance. And that's the way this is going to go. Levin's just going through him. It's, it's, it's no contest. Okay. I can't see how you think that what way. What does the long hair have to do with anything? Oh, well, I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time this is over, I mean, if you put uh, uh, Levin and Michael... Levin wins easy. You put Vitaly and Devin, well, Devin will definitely be into the pan geeking contest after that's over, because he'll be finished. There won't be anything left of Devin. So, you're in the group that doesn't think Michael Todd is strong. Oh, I think Michael Todd's strong. He's just not strong enough. <laughs> so, and all that... I like Michael. Michael's a good guy. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. You are a good guy, but you got no chance here, buddy. No chance. I, and I, and I, Devin I, against Vitaly? That's even less a chance. Less a chance. So my question is, can Vitaly deal with Devin and his mind games? Well, it depends on, yeah, won't be a problem. That hand of his, that, you ever see his fingers? Yep. See, Devin can't deal with a hand that's bigger than his. No, but can anybody on this, on the planet outside of Michael Todd deal with how Devin sets up and what happens before a goal. Well, who's refereeing this? We don't have any idea. Okay, what, rule, what rules? What rules? Are we, we don't have any idea about that either. Well, I'll tell you, if, if you got anybody that's going to make Devin set up within the 30-second time zone, then he's done. Okay. Who should referee these matches? some of these matches? You're hmm. putting together your dream team card. Who's, who should well, be the referee? Rules are we, well, I mean, I don't care who referees as long as you follow the rules. That's the problem with WAO. They've got rules. They just don't like using them. Depending on who you are. Like, <laughs> that's why I feel bad for Bert. He's told, mm, don't call a foul on this guy. Poor bastard. I really feel sorry for him. You know, because everybody shits on Bert. It's not Bert's fault. I've never seen a referee, a non-WAL, but I'm sure he's a good referee or they wouldn't have brought him in. But the fact that he's not allowed to call. Just for putting up with the crap he has to put up with. And even when, so something happens, and he stops the match and wants to go look at the replay, people are shitting on him for no reason. 
But hey, look at the replay. Right? That's what I mean. I feel sorry for the guy. He's in a no-win situation. I don't know. You know what? And Bart you... does a damn good job of controlling the egos and the attitudes at the table. But he's still not allowed to make calls. Well, we don't, know, we don't know that for sure. Well, okay. Then if he is allowed to make calls... Okay, then I take back what he, I said about him being a good referee. Well, I, I think that the WAL is trying to put on a great show. Right? But, but it's going to be a clown show. It's a circus. Oh, did you just not call them Polish clowns? You did not <laughs> just call them clowns. <laughs> so, I said it's a circus. Direct, direct, direct <laughs> all your negative comments to Rick Pinkney. <laughs> so, but it is. Todd, hold it. Todd Hutchings, Jerry Cataract, Michael Todd. Those are Devin, all the great pullers. You just said they're all clowns. <laughs> Make up your fucking mind, man. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's, it's a circus because they're allowed to do whatever they want to do. Like, when you watch that last match with Michael Todd and Jerry Cataract, the strap was completely apart. They weren't even holding on. And, and it's like, that was ridiculous. I don't remember what happened me, with you, the strap. What happened with the strap? That it was just... It was put on so too bad. Too loose, or? Yeah, it was put on so... Because the guys were both posting. Put on so badly. Sorry for Bert. But it was put on so badly that the hands came completely apart. So, yeah. now, they're not even holding on to one another anymore. And they're trying to pull. Jerry's like this. Michael's hand's out here. And Jerry's hand's down to the table. He can't pin him because the strap had loosened off so much. Okay, so if, there, if that has actually happened... Not that I'm not saying that I'm doubting what you're telling me, but so when that actually happens in a match, what's the referee supposed to do? What stop is, the match and reapply the straps. Did they stop the match? No. What happened? Geez, now I forget. Uh, I don't Michael, remember. Michael pinned him. Michael, Michael. Michael, oh, uh, Jerry ended up fouling. Jerry lifted his elbow off and ended up fouling out. I think I could be wrong. Okay. I, I don't. My memory's a little hazy. Remember. My memory's a little hazy on I that. I remember watching part of the match. I don't remember watching the whole match. Yeah. And that's when. Uh, yeah. Isn't that when Michael left the table and said, that's yep. like a foul? Yes, yeah, because he lifted his elbow off right. too long. Okay. He, lifted, he left his elbow off too long. And what was the official call? Like what happened? Well, they, they had to get everybody and their dog together to try to figure out what the call was. And Michael just said, I'm the winner. That's the rule, that he left his elbow off too long. And it was a second foul or third foul or whatever they called it. I knew we'd win him over. He's now on Michael's side. See? <laughs> I knew we'd get him. In that case, it wasn't... It, I feel bad for Jerry. Jerry should have won the match. Because I thought Jerry was going through him, but the strap friggin' stopped it. I tell you what. In my opinion only, the guy who... Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm nobody. In my opinion only, Jerry Cataract deserves a shot at that hammer before anybody else. For oh, the, absolutely. For, for the putting performance, up that match. No, but the performance that he put on with those friggin' wars between him and Michael Todd... Yes. I have never seen anything I'll like that. I'll tell you, and I give Jerry, one of the reasons I give Jerry Cataract so many props is he will not quit. He no, does absolutely. not quit. Absolutely. Well, I mean, you know what? Michael he Todd pulled either. his ass off that match. Michael stuff. Todd either. Yeah. Over and over and again, people, yeah. you know, Michael Todd's arm will break before he will quit. And that's happened. <laughs> Left-handed. Absolutely it did. But right-handed, he's in that king's move, yeah. and you've got to break his arm yeah. to, for him because he's not quitting. But Jerry Cataract put up... The performance of the decade. Yep. But getting back to that, he won't even get into that move because Levin's going to crush him. Okay. So if you bring uh, the top eight together with the WAL, how are you ever going to decide on A, a referee, and B, a rule set? And a rule set. That's the thing. How are you ever going to do it? Is is Igor, who runs the uh, top eight, and Steve Kaplan, who runs the WAL, are they actually going to agree on anything? I can't see it happening. And... Igor is a stickler for the rules. Yeah, okay. He wants rules. Steve Kaplan wants a show. He doesn't care if it's a gong show. He wants a show. And I think I you, know, me, and everybody else out there wants a show. However. I want to see some real arm wrestling. We want, I think there are, there are limits. Yes. We want a show, though. We want to put oh, together absolutely. two guys that are going to perform and give us what we want. But I don't want it to be a circus, either. As I don't. However, but you're a WA fan, you must like the circus. No, dude, I like some of these pullers. They've got guts, they've got balls, oh, they bring absolutely. it to the table. But okay, tell me your top four WAL guys. The top four guys, okay. So Michael's on top because yep. he's the hammer holder. Yep. Um, okay, if Devin's your number two, Jerry Cataret's your number three. I would have said Dave Chafee after that, but Dave has moved on to, uh, yep. to partake in the top eight. 
I don't know, there's a couple of big guys up. Ryan Espy deserves a mention. A uh, big, strong guy from Canada. Uh, Todd Hutchings, just the power alone. Them two have never pulled right hand, have they? Ryan and Todd? Yeah. I, I, that I don't know. Yeah. I do not know that. But, but that's it. Five guys, and they're heavyweight. And they keep recycling them all where, the time. And where do we put Matt Mask in the, in the, well, yeah. in the mix? Yeah. Right? Matt Mask, because off the go, if you Matt. don't stop him, you're in serious trouble. Yeah. Serious trouble. And who, okay, so who are your top four guys in the top eight? Levin. Levin, yeah. Vitali. Vitali, yeah. Trubin. I'll tell you, if he's on his game, look out. Okay, there's three. He could be the next push start if he starts pulling properly. That's he a, could be. That's a, that's a big, big shoes to fill. Shoes to but fill. I'll tell you, when he's on, look out. And then you've got Chafee, you've got uh, Kitagali, you've got Bresnan. And all those guys. You know what? I'm a huge Tim Bresnan fan. Love Timmy to death. Here's, um, but I think Dave Chafee could be the fly in the ointment for the for the top eight. And not that the other guys aren't any good. I think he's still a little bit underestimated. Oh, absolutely. I do. And that's why I look forward to Dave in the, in the top eight to be to see where he fits in there. But then guys are going to say, well, you know. He, he, if, he, if he wins it, just say he did win it. They're going to say, well, see, Michael's the best in the world. Well, no, use the proper rules and it's a call them. a different rule set, I mean, absolutely. That, uh, and that last match he had with him and Devon where they were both under the table, I wanted to cry watching that. <laughs> that was sad, and I felt bad. I like both guys. Yeah. You know, Chafee is a powerhouse, just an absolute powerhouse, and that's why I hated seeing that match go like that. And... Yeah, I, I do. I as well like both guys. Um, you can't get better guys than Devin and or Dave. Um, but On the other hand, now I've seen Devin above the table now lately, so maybe he'll... he'll but I look, there's video, folks. I have some on my, the Airsport Videos YouTube channel. I've seen all kinds of matches where Michael Todd stands up and, yeah. and he's in there pulling. This is a strong, strong guy. Oh, absolutely. Not as strong as Levin, but he is a strong guy. I mean, they're not even in the same... Hemisphere when it comes to strength. I mean, it's not even close. Well, it, there's a big ocean to separate. Oh them, right? man, <laughs> there is a big ocean separating the two of them. But strength in the gym. Oh, I know. Doesn't mean the same as yeah, doesn't on the mean table. anything on the table. Right. Oh yeah, I've seen that hundreds of times, thousands of times. Okay, well you know what? He hasn't convinced me. I'm going to stick with the WAL guys. PAL or PAL all the way. Top eight guys. Talk to you guys next time. Later.